Hello, my beautiful Leos. I am Rena Wells, and I am here to do your June predictions. I am so sorry that this has, um, <laughs> this, uh, the noise that's happening. Um, I'm in Guyana, South America now, so I have come here to get out of Canada communism, basically, and locked down for 15 months. Can't live like that. Um, yeah, and so I'm sorry. I'm at my parents' place. It's an ama I'll give you guys a tour eventually. Um, but there is construction happening next door, so they're clearing the land, and so, uh, and you're going to hear the wind is blowing a lot today. So I'm doing my best. It's not my regular setup, and so please bear with me as um, I do these readings because I I am at my parents' place, and so I'm trying to, you know, it's not my regular setup. So. Let's take a look. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to take a look at all your predictions, Leo. We're going to take a look at what is going on in your finances, your home area, your, your foundation, and then we're going to take a look at love as well. Right now, we're going to take a look at these soul cards. They're absolutely amazing. They're just cards that have intuition. There's no meaning to them. So it's based on whatever spirit gives me through the art. It's really beautiful. Let's take a look at what is going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit. This is for June, please. Ooh, wind coming in. Thank you, spirit. What is going on with Leo, Sun, Moon, whoa, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? The curtains are, let's do that. <laughs> what is going on for Leo, please? Thank you. Wow, Leo. All right, so the overall energy here is really beautiful. I'm seeing a union coming together here. These are two people that are completely enthralled with each other, that are um, finding each other within themselves. There's also a masculine energy that is wanting to protect this beautiful feminine energy. And you can see this energy, Leo, of love coming through. Okay, so this is the overall energy that is happening for you in June. This is going to be uh, the overall energy for love and finances and everything. And so you may want to watch it. If you have cancer in your chart, I just did cancer. It's um, very similar that this feels like an amalgamation of everything that's happening in your energy field, a very union energy that there's abundance coming for finances, home life, and in love. All right, let's see what else we can have for Leo, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising in Venus for june please can we have some june predictions for leo thank you what is going on with leo leo sun moon rising and venus please what is going on with leo what is going on with leo please sun moon rising and venus what is going on with leo i'm also using my phone to record guys so i don't have the same aspects okay we have a uh, recording and stuff so i'm sorry my videos are a little bit off for a bit until i find my niche again um we have by the book so spirit is saying leo that you want to make sure that you're doing everything right in june you don't want to skip any steps you don't want to take shortcuts you want to follow exactly how spirit is leading you elephants are very intuitive um, again, you may want to watch cancer because I'm getting a lot of cancer energy here in regards to uh, finding your soul tribe family. They move in packs here, right? This is about knowing where spirit is leading you. The, the head of this, um, not this, the leader, okay, here is, is spirit leading all of your ancestors to a new path through some desert, okay? You're moving through some dry land right now. Um, but you don't want to miss it. You're, you're being patient. You don't want to skip any steps. You want it to be authentic. Wherever you're moving into June, Leo, you want it to be true. You want it to be, um, yeah, you want it to be just, uh, you're, you're willing to walk through this desert. You're willing to go through things right now and um, do that hard work because it's an 11 as well because you know it's wholly guided. It's it's prayer flags at the top. You know that this is being spiritually guided. So you can't skip, you can't skip, um, you know, what spirit has in plan for you. So you're activating a very high level of um, abundance. I'm hearing Abraham Hicks with your vortex, you know, you're accessing that. What else for Leo, please? Wow. Yeah, chop wood. So a new doorway has definitely opened up for you here. Now, with this wood, um, with the chop wood, it's like you put it, you're putting in all of that hard work, right? 
this you've you've I, what spirit is showing me is like chopping wood and then creating your own broom it's like you didn't have any tools before and but coming into june you're having tools tools are going to be brought to you that you've realized that all of this you know hard work that you've been putting into your life in order to come into this type of energy really a sacred union is what i'm seeing um and that's going to be the basis of your foundation it's going to be um this doorway has opened out of darkness and you can see all this beautiful light shining down and you're going to be gifted you know your own tool that you build yourself by yourself you should be very proud of yourself leo spirit is saying there's a lot of um pride you should take in this hard work that you've been doing to clean up your mess um your mess other people's mess karmic messes like however you've been intricately entwined you've got buckets here it's nice and clean there's also a face on this broom so spirit is i don't know if you can see that um so there's definitely an energy here that these doorways of abundance are completely opening up for you let's see what else for leo so i'm seeing finances are pretty good i'm not seeing that they're difficult um they may have been stagnant or not moving if you work for yourself, if you're an entrepreneur, but Spirit is saying that there's definitely um, movement that's happening because you have to come into a brand new vibration. Okay, we've got quite a few here. So let's see what else has come up here. They want me to pull another one of these soul cards for you. Yeah, see, look at this. The broom is here again. You're cleaning it up. You're cleaning it up, Leo. So if you've been having financial issues, money problems, um, you're, they're saying that you couldn't, you know, also skip any you know um loopholes there you had to follow the the laws of uh the universe the laws of the world the spirit is saying there's a merging that's happening between the ethers and the 3d world that you had to uh follow learn to learn uh thank you spirit, learn how to move between all realms in order to start grounding this financial um, abundance that you want you have dreams you have an idea of what you want to create and so you've taken this broom and see it. spirit is showing me this with the chop wood, you're cleaning the ground. You had to clean up your 3D world, however that may be, walking away from toxic connections. And you are now also cleaning the air around you and the energy around you. And you've taken your tools, your broom, and cleaning this all up. So this is really beautiful. Um, Spirit is also saying that, you know, you've been going round and round and round if you are made for a certain calling. I almost feel like, uh, Leo, either you... Um, haven't been feeling quite as good enough for this type of energy. This is why they want me to pull another card on you on this, which we're going to do in a minute. They're saying that you weren't feeling totally worthy of this. There was still some healing for your union to come forward, and you've been going round and round and round about that. Um, it's a number seven. Seven is a very holy number. Seven is about, uh, you can find sevens in all type of religious texts. And sevens are, you know, it's not just good luck. It's a, it's, um, a spiritual number, you know, of creation, you know, everything was created in seven days and you have to go through spirit of saying this by the book, step by step in order, uh, without skipping anything in order to get to this, um, this poised you know there's a high frequency that you are holding here leo spirit is saying you're one of my you're one of my um greatest you know um people here with a, the whole a higher type of frequency she's got stars coming out of her hands and spirit is saying it's not egoic to know your power you know everyone has to hold a different frequency because everyone is a different puzzle piece everyone's a different um piece in a in a grand picture you know that when you put a puzzle piece together and you know uh, we need ones that have darker energies and we need ones that have lighter energies and spirit is saying you're holding one of the most you know beautiful brightest lights here and that you are good enough for this path and for this union that's that's coming here leo and so you've been may have been going round and round and round about this that's only because you've been going through the different stages and a purification process and that you are definitely good enough for this wow really beautiful messages here i need to pull yeah spirit is saying let's pull another one of those for you leo let's pull another one of these for you um 
and this is finances, home life, everything. So however it, it, you're getting these messages, take it as a supplies. You're getting little dings, little notifications in your mind like, oh, that's why that happened and that's why that happened. Spirit is saying um, this is the overall energy here for June. Again, we've got quite a bit. So <laughs> quite a bit came out. So the first card here. Wow. Wow. Look at these cards. Okay. The first we're going to take a look at. They want me to look at this one first. You've been in this dark place here, Leo, but you see you're holding something and not and working so hard in this darkness in your shadow work, not noticing this brightness and this waterfall that's behind you. Spirit is saying this is what's coming in in June. You've been so focused on here, not it's almost like the five of cups, you know, things have fallen Things have been burnt to the ground. Things were very difficult, but you weren't recognizing the abundance that's simply right behind you. You have to turn around to see it. And this is what this is bringing in overall in June is this amazing um, union that's coming forward. And Spirit is also saying here, look at this. You've been holding this light is starting to come through and burn and purify you. That's why it's been so difficult. It's coming out of your crown chakra as well. Okay. This is your solar plexus, the fire of spirit that's rising up like Kundalini and overtaking all of you in June. It's a new vibration. Again, if you have cancer in your chart, I would definitely go look at the cancer reading. Even if you don't, something is resonating very much between cancer and Leo here. So, um, I would definitely go look at it. If this is resonating for you on a deep level, that it's it's coming out of your crown chakra here too. It's like you're being anointed with this purification. You're about to birth something new. This is also reminding me of someone who's pregnant that a new uh, layer, a new vibration, a new frequency from a very pure place. It's a purity. I'm keep getting the word purity is really getting ready to birth. And look at this. You've been feeling this way, you know. Spirit is saying this sitting in your darkness for so long. It, look how she's turning white. You know, it's almost like she's being washed clean now and it's coming up. It's coming up through your chakras up to your heart chakra. So I feel in June, it's going to continue rising. If you notice here, it's rising like this and coming out of you and it's you know, it's starting here. This is where you're at right now. You don't need to be sad. Hang on. There's a lot of a beautiful white aura that's coming around you. So there's a lot of healing that is coming for you in June. Let's pull a little bit of tarot and see what else spirit is bringing through for you. And this is about finances and whatnot. We're going to take a look at love in a minute. But this is about your foundation. And, and it's really about love. Everything's encompassed. So it is about love as well. You're tapping into your vortex that all abundance you know um you almost have to work on things in segregation um to pull it all together is what i'm hearing what else for leo please leo for june please spirit sun moon rising and venus can i get one more thank you Okay, exactly what I was saying. You're getting page of wands in reverse and the nine of cups in reverse. You don't want the nine of cups. You want the ten of cups. So you're really moving out of the um, what you thought you wanted at one point. You're getting off that spiritual path. You're getting onto a new road. So you've clo you're closing off old cycles for sure. Yeah, you definitely need to watch Cancer. What else about this uh, getting onto a new path or spirit? Can we get some near future energies? Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, you're definitely moving through anything that was unstable. You may have been dealing with a gold digger. That's the first thing I'm getting from this queen of wands or somebody that you know in a relationship was dealing with a gold digger. Um, but what I'm seeing here, Leo, is that you're going to be victorious. And this has came up for cancer as well, too. So you definitely have to go. I keep saying that, but you want to be victorious. This is also about a union that's coming together. It's very similar to this card here. I'm getting very similar energies if you look at these two here, Leo, right? They're very beautiful. They're coming together. They're um, noticing, um, you know, how they merge and work so well together. Red is also very sacred energy of divine feminine energy, okay? Um, so this is about seven of swords in reverse and moving very quickly through any deception, moving through things that are dishonest, things that don't fit for you anymore and really looking at you know i want something definitely 
more and um, that's definitely what is happening here in your connection okay and in your life um, you may have had someone that stole money from you you may have had somebody that you were supporting here or uh, somebody was taking money from you or that you were me some of you may have been dependent on somebody and you're not you're worried about how you're gonna make it on your own on your own this is definitely um, going to um, sorry I'm just fixing my camera this is definitely not going to be a problem as you move into June there are new things that are going to come up for you okay let's take a look at specifically your love life um, we're gonna put these up here to the side here and we're gonna take a look at your love life and specifically what is going on here for Leo Sun Moon and Rising and Venus please in regards to love what is going on for Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus please for June predictions please in love with their counterpart with their person thank you what is going on for Leo Sun Moon Rising and Venus thank you there's definitely going to be a new contract that's coming through. Um, what did I say about the Five of Cups? It did come out. Okay, you're ending that regretful energy. Okay. Let's see what else we can get. More and one more spirit. Thank you. All right. So we have the Three of Pentacles. The Five of Cups in reverse, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Cups. I'm seeing somebody going back to the past, okay? But it doesn't have to be. But it's about um, definitely a soulmate connection, um, something that, and, and if it's a past, I, I don't suggest going back to past lovers at all, especially if you've had a relationship and you've already worked through that. Because if it is your twin flame, you probably wouldn't have never been able to have a decent relationship with them. It never got, probably didn't get started it was very um nothing that uh you would consider a long anything long term so if that's the case that's the return to the past okay what i'm seeing is there a brand new contract that's coming up in love for you there's a brand new um contract in regards to uh all the work that you've done it's a it's the person that you're meant to be with um, to end all of these regrets and spirit is showing me this card like I was saying it was reminding me of the five of cups and it did show up these uh, regrets in the past that you just have to turn around and take a look at it and spirit is saying you are definitely doing that you're, you're definitely taking a look at other opportunities or you're end, ending your guilt or guilt your um, self-judgment any sadness, maybe your own ownership and responsibility that you may have had in a situation. Um, because here you can see there's a bridge here that's going to a castle, okay? You see that? There's a bridge right here. If he just turns around, there's two, a beautiful union with a bridge that's coming across the water to the castle. Here, you know, this person or this situation wasn't fulfilling at all because it couldn't get you across that bridge. But now that you're healing this and you're loving yourself, you know, we're all human, right? We all make mistakes. You're ready to get in that boat to cross that bridge. You're ready to move forward, Leo. You're ready to end those burdens and anything that was unstable from the past, you know that you're going to reconcile that and you're going to move forward into something that's much more, that feels more like home is what I'm getting. Let's uh, see what else. We're going to use uh, Made for Love's deck. Um, oops. Uh, divine counterparts in separation so we're going to do this what else for leo please leo sun moon rising and venus for june predictions and love what is going on for leo if you guys like this reading so far don't forget to like and subscribe and if you would like our reading send me an email so i can send you uh away the link to book a reading all right and the options for that what is going on thank you all right so leo somebody may have run away from this connection before because of a third party involvement okay so that may be been your situation that's happening in june now i feel that this person is actually running away from the third party can we get one more please spirit <laughs> like i ain't dealing with that 
Yeah, my love for you is deeper than the ocean. So I feel somebody may be running away. I'm gonna clarify this, running away. Clarify the running away with the third party. Yeah, they're abandoning the situation. I took the ones that flipped up. The, the Five of Pentacles, they're abandoning the, the situation. Look at this. A love relationship, the lovers abandoning it in a heartbreak. So somebody is definitely leaving. A, I'm so sorry about I'm so sorry guys about the the chainsaw I'm so sorry um, but there's definitely I'm gonna just speak a little out there is definitely something happening with abandoning a third-party connection here because of this union that is coming in for Leo okay that they have to abandon and make a decision to leave this behind I'm just gonna pause this until they stop for a bit all right, so I just paused that for a bit until they stopped because that was really loud. I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, so there's definitely a running away from a third party situation, a karmic situation, um, and, and having to go through the brunt of everything here, Leo. You know, it was dark. You weren't able to see those beautiful um, abundance that was happening here. We're going to pull um, some animal cards to see what's going on here in love and your abundance overall because there's definitely a moving forward you're getting off a path here right you're moving forward very quickly you're doing things by the book you've cleaned things up you're opening up a brand new portal here you may have gone round and round over and over and over in your head but you know that this connection wherever you're going is a very sacred connection and it's higher up than anything that you've had before and um you know that you're going to have to get honest with with yourself in this connection and with yourself to move into these higher vibrations and so you're willing you've completely surrendered knowing that it's not going to be rushed it's going to be a step-by-step -step process and you're okay with that what is going on with leo here please for june please june and love and um all connections and money and finances please what is going on for leo thank you okay so leo the first one that came out here is the firefly so this is you look at this so beautiful you're starting to emanate that beautiful pure energy of light okay you're seeing your way through the darkness this is very much christ consciousness that's happening very much so that you're able to walk through no matter how dense how evil how dark dynamic whatever it is that you're going through i feel some of you've had to walk through some very toxic energies and you're really shining that light now spirit is saying that you have healed a lot of your emotional realm we have fish you could be dealing with the pisces and i want you to recognize how similar these cards are there's a lot of darkness around the light the moon is here in a crescent moon which means that it's not a full moon illumination but you've started to listen to your intuition and that has been guiding you spirit is saying you're very gifted some of you a lot of you are that are watching this and that you're starting to realize how accurate your your inner knowing is and your intuition is and you're like wow but they're bringing up the poise card here to take a look at this. You're like, wow, I actually am right most of the time. I actually do have a deep knowing. I actually do have a very special gift here of these stars that I can hold. I'm from the stars. Some of you may be star seeds. And um, you're realizing your abundance in all of this and being able to shine that light in some of the darkest places. So Spirit wants you to realize as you're moving into June, this is going to build up for you. You're going to be able to build that up even more. You're going to come into a deeper understanding of your connection in with your divine counterpart. You're going to see why um, your foundation has been the way that it has been. You're moving on to new clear waters here. This Your person is leaving third party. A lot of karmic cycles ending. All right, let's see what gateways are opening up for Leo, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What gateways are opening up here for Leo? What is coming up for Leo here? Yeah, you're getting courage here, Leo. Wow. You're getting a lot of courage. We have this this horse, which they're bringing up um, this six of, yeah, this, this, they're bringing up this horse, getting on that horse to meet your person, okay? Your person is coming to you. They're also showing me running away from this karmic energy, you know? Um, 
is there a horse here? No, but it's a bunch of animals running away um, from this third party energy, from karmic energies, things that no longer serve. And getting on this, getting the courage to come forward for this victory and success because we have horses. Horses are very sacred animals. They're very intuitive. Um, and you can't put a saddle on a horse, really. You can't really tame a good, you know, it takes a while to tame a horse. So I'm feeling that this is a wild horse. This also, there's also no saddle on this horse. Okay, there's also no saddle on this horse. It's a blanket. Okay, so um <laughs> it's really interesting because it's a this is a wild free spirit you're a wild free spirit your person's a wild free spirit and you're really igniting a lot of this courage you're also mending bridges this is my twin flame card in this deck which is beautiful because this is very similar to how we're going to be closing off this reading look at this it's very similar. You're encompassed. You're together. You're in each other. This is something that is holy and sacred. And this is where June, these energies are going to start grounding and coming forward for you. That is absolutely magnificent. All right. Let's get some last final messages for you. The first one is going to be for your finances and your foundation, career, mission. And the second card that we get is going to be for your love life. What is going on here for Leo, please, in June? What is going on? Final messages for Leo, please. Boop. And love. And we got that. All right. So, release the autumn equinox okay it could be some something maybe picking up um that's going to start uh, as you're closing out spirit is saying as for some of you as some of these cycles are closing out you're going to start a new path that you'll see and reap the benefits come this august could be a new business venture could be i'm um, investing into something so if you start releasing as you're releasing now because that's what you've been doing okay financially um you may start to see as soon as autumn some significant changes that start to happen in your foundation and in your love life so that's amazing um in your sorry in your financial life not love life. in your financial life and in your foundations in your love life we're, we're showing oh we've got two here i didn't even see that we have childhood which is innocence these are two people here okay this is the innocence of childhood the innocence of children is the purity is the truth of your soul right we get conditioned um throughout the years to to um hide this or to um stuff it down and I kept hearing purity, right? This innocence is coming back to these two people in June to be able to build something together. And look, you've been healing ancestral traumas. We have a snake here, which is very a uh, very old sacred sign, which is of wisdom that's moving through your ancestors that you're going to be gifted a lot of these ancestral gifts. And so spirit is really showing you that you've healed so much that your love life is going to is being gifted from your ancestors to bring a very pure connection to you in June. All right, so much love to you, Leos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'd love to hear your comments. If you would like a reading, don't forget to hit, um, send me an email. All the info is down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.